he's Jared Hain. He's been uh, Player of the Year Rugby twice in Australia. Australia Rugby. Uh, he plays for uh, Parramatta Eels, but he's leaving them because he wants to uh, try to play in the NFL. And, um, you know, Jared joins us now. When, when did you start thinking about leaving rugby in Australia to play in the NFL? I guess probably about 24 months ago. Um, I had a friend that kind of introduced me to the game back in 2010. And, um, and then I met, I met Ryan Grant that used to play for the, uh, the, the, the Packers a while back. And, um, you know, I think um, probably you know, two years after that kind of sparked it. And, and, then, and then, yeah, the last 12 months, seriously, been considering it. So you told your team that you're retiring, so you're all in on this. You're go- are you going to play for the Seahawks? Yeah, mate, all, all in. Um, no, I, I haven't got a club at the moment. Um, I, I did the tour of the facilities um, a couple of weeks ago, but that's, that's as far as I went. Um, you know, I, I haven't met Coach Carroll or, or anyone like that. And um, I guess, you know, as much as a surprise it was to the, you know, all of Australia, you know, I think my... my my majority of my teammates kind of knew that, um, you know, how much um, time and, and, and love I have for, for the NFL. And, um, you yeah, know, most of them were, were more excited. You know, everyone everyone's excited for me and, and just, uh, I guess, the, the challenge that lies ahead. So people aren't upset with you that you're going to leave and you're going to go to the NFL? Um, oh, look, I, I'm sure there, there was some, but the majority of them... Um, I definitely excited. Um, you know, I know you don't know much about rugby league, but um, you know my club, and um, there's been a lot of a lot of dark times at the club. And you know, I think people really understand my loyalty towards you know me committing to the club. It's, it's been my, my my club since I was you know since my childhood, and um, you know I've been I've been at the club since I was 13 years old. So I think yeah, as much as it, it hurts in the see me go, they, they're definitely excited. And, they, and I think they know how much I've, I've put into the club and um, the time I've spent there. And, you know, there's definitely time for a little left. But, you know, I love the club so much. And um, that, that's probably the hardest thing to do, to, to say goodbye. But I know deep down inside of myself that, um, you know, I need to take this challenge up, not only for, you know, as an athlete, but as a person. What's more physically demanding, rugby or American football? I guess there's different aspects. You know, my, my game goes for... Um, yeah, you know, 80 minutes. Uh, it's it's 40 minutes a half, and it's 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 rugged, rugged um, rugby league, and it's it's full on. And I guess um, from an NFL point of view, it, it's I was explaining to some some of the boys today. It's it's kind of um, like getting hit by a car, but you're inside a car. Yeah, you, know, you might have protection on with a helmet and pads, but um, the force that goes through your body um, doesn't lessen. And um, you know, I've had pads on before. I've done. Um, a bit of work with the Sydney team, and um, you know I've been hit, and, you, and I, you know, I've, got, I've got no no doubt it's a lot, obviously a lot harder, and you know, everything's gonna be faster and whatnot. And you know I might have no illusions how hard it's gonna be, and how, how far I am behind the eight ball because of you know I guess my age and my you know, my inexperience. But that's part of the challenge. That's part of the, the reason I'm you know, I'm coming over and, and and gonna test myself and gonna you know push myself to the limits because that kind of um, I guess mountain that I'm about to climb is what excites me. Uh, who who do you think you'll play like? Who's in the NFL now? Yeah, it's it's kind of tough to say. I I um I, I guess for myself, you know, as 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 um, talented as as I am, I, I definitely need to change. I guess my body shape, and um, I'm going to get obviously a lot faster, a lot stronger. So it's it's, it's kind of. Um, hard to put my finger on, on, on one person. I, I think um, the other day someone was, was, was comparing me to um, um, sort of a, a similar style of a kind of Matt, Matt Forte for the Chicago Bears. Um, you know, great player and um, you know, disappointed I, I didn't get any of my fantasy. <laughs> a couple of picks away, but... Um, Wait, you got, a fan- yeah, I, you got a fantasy team, Jared? Yeah, I've got, I've got three of them. <laughs> I'm, not going, I'm not going too old. It was, it was a tough week this week. <laughs> but are you, do you want to be a running back, a kick returner? What do you want to be? Well, I think all in all, it's probably offense. Um, I, I think if you watch my clips and uh, the way I, the way I play in Australia, I'm, I'm definitely someone that um, that you know that's agile and quick and um, 
you know, I think that's probably the most natural, uh, I guess, position for me in, in the offensive line. And, and for me, you know, I, I, I don't want to say this the one position. You know, I, I want to be open-minded. Um, I, I don't want to be locked onto anything. And, you know, pretty much, you know, get to, get to America, train up, and and then um, go and, I guess go and do some testing at, at the various clubs and, and um, see, see who is interested and who's not. Jared, be honest here. You guys look at American football and say these guys are soft, right? They have to wear pads. Like you guys, you guys are tough. You guys are badass. And you look at the NFL and say these guys are soft. No, no, really. I, I guess I guess people that don't don't know what the NFL is about and and haven't you know put pads on would, would probably say that. But you know, me myself, I've always known it's physical. I've always known it's hard. And you know, you know, wearing a helmet doesn't doesn't stop the impact. From from you know the force that goes through you know goes, goes through your head. It's like I guess the way I was explaining it to the boys. I guess you know rugby league is kind of like running on running on the bicycle and having an accident. You know what I mean? You get cut. You got no protection and um and whatnot. But you know the NFL is like being in the car and get hit by a truck. You know you might have protection and you might have you know a door to stop you from from the truck. But that truck's moving a lot faster, a lot stronger, um and whatnot from you know from a a bicycle accident, and that's how I'm trying to you know, compare it to, to people that don't uh, understand the game. I'm I'm under no illusions how hard it is, and, and the physical um, part of it. It's obviously going to get hit a lot harder. And um, who do you want to run you know, into? Who who don't I want to run, to, who, run into? Who do you want to run into? Oh, who who do I? No one. I want to score touchdowns. <laughs> okay, who are you trying to avoid then? Besides everybody, is there somebody that you go? Do you know who J.J. Watt is? Yeah, I know who J.J. Yeah, J.J. Watt, uh, Clowney. Don't, 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 be, don't be messing with him. Um, Richard guess, Sherman. You know, I, Sherman, yeah. Sherman, he cracks me up, man. We, 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 we love his stuff down here. Um, he's kind of hype, and uh, the way he carries himself, man, definitely got a lot of respect from down under. And how would, um, how would Richard Sherman do in your league playing rugby, or how would J.J. Watt do? Yeah, they'd, 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 they'd kill it. Um, there's, there's, there's definitely a lot of blokes that are um, <laughs> that are very, very, very similar in, in, in build and, and and structure. You know, JJ Watt will probably be what we call a you know a front rower, which is which is pretty much like a like a defensive end, which he plays. Um, <laughs> you know, it's, it's probably regarded as the toughest position in our game, where they're, they're the blokes that do all the hard stuff. You know, they're they're the ones that take the first hit up. They're going to make all the hard hard tackles through the middle. Do do all the and they're they're in the trenches, you know, and that's our, our, our game's all about winning the trenches. You win the trenches, you normally win the game. So, um, you know, very similar to the NFL, that you, know, you, you front four on the, on the D line or three. Um, you know, if they're, if they're good there, then you usually go good on your, on, on your D line. When are you coming to the states? Um, we haven't confirmed yet, but we're we're trying to get over there. I guess as soon as possible. And uh, for me, it's about getting over there. Um, just doing a bit of my my own training for a bit, and then. Um, and then seeing what happens. Well, good luck. Uh, it's, it's a big move, and I'm sure there are guys in the NFL that will be waiting, anxiously waiting to hit you. Yeah, it, you know, it's going to be exciting, and that's that's the whole point. You know, a lot of people are saying it's impossible, but you know, I believe in, I believe in a God that makes the impossible possible, and you know, I'm looking forward to the challenge. And um, you know, it, it's what I want, it's what I desire. And um, thanks for um, thanks for the phone call, Jared. Thank you. Good luck. Ah, cheers, mate. Ah, cheers, mate. That's uh, Jared Hain.